Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be all about um, newborn essentials, baby items that I have used religiously over the course of the last five months. Um, from birth up to five months, which is the age of my son. I can't believe the time has gone that fast. Um, so hopefully this will be helpful for those of you who are about to give birth or maybe family members who could, um, you know, help gift through baby showers or registry, uh, registry lists. Yeah, so hope this helps. If you guys are needing um, a bottle sterilizer, um, we use this Tommy Tippy one. Um, it's great, you literally just fill this bottom part up with water, you clean it every now and again, um, and you pop the washed sterilite, sorry, the wash bottles into this, and you press play, and yeah, it just sterilizes the bottles in about 10 minutes. And then this is bottle warmer, so when you pre-make the formula bottles, or even breast milk is kept in the fridge you can warm the bottles up with this you literally just switch it on leave it on for a few minutes and the bottles are full warm so that's great this is gideon's bouncer um or swing rather sorry and he has used this pretty much since the day he's been born it comes with music sounds of the ocean all things like that and it kind of sits magnetic at the bottom i think there's a magnet and it just swings like that. It's got some little play things here and that really helps keep him entertained. This is quite expensive. It was gifted to us. We've been very lucky. So grateful for that. Um, but yeah, that alongside the play mat has been the main two things that we use in uh, the lower part of the house. This is Gideon's play mat. He has used this from day one and he still absolutely loves it. Um, so it comes with like a little mirror and every corner, well, it used to have like a little toy or rattle thing on, um, but we've taken them off and taken them elsewhere. Okay, guys, this is great. This is amazing for tummy time. Um, Josh and I bought this from, would you believe it, Timu. It was like 4 99 and it's uh, got little fishies in it that move and float around. Um, Fill this with water, fill this with air. This is just deflated. But um, yeah, Gideon absolutely loves this. This is the nappy changing unit and this is really lovely. It's a nappy changing mat. Um, nice foam, nice and soft for the baby. Um, really pretty as well. Amazon again, obviously the nappy bags, um, pseudogram and the nappies at hand. But um, yeah, this changing mat is on Amazon. It's really, really, really helpful fits nicely into the changing unit okay so this is an absolute state at the moment it was so lovely and everything was folded when i first had gideon but um we have these little as you can see these little baskets i got these from b and i think it was um just to keep like certain things um in place where i know where to go and josh knows where to go <laughs> muslin cloths muslin cloths oh my gosh guys i cannot even tell you buy as many of these as you can because literally you will be using them multiple of them a day stack them in any room and every room because you'll need them nappy bag <laughs> i can't express how important getting a nappy bag is although you could use a normal bag um i'm not saying you absolutely have to get a nappy bag but they are really really helpful we were again gifted this really grateful for that um but nappy bags are helpful because they have all the compartments for everything you need. Like at the front here, we have a compartment for uh, like the bottles. So as you can see, there's like a foil to keep them cool, or keep them warm, whichever you need. And inside there's like multiple zipped and elasticated compartments. Um, oops, that broke. <laughs> when you're a mum, when you become a mum, you don't have a handbag anymore. You just have a nappy bag. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, and this is also helpful. Look, this is really helpful for me when I'm out and about with Gideon on my own. Um, sometimes you can't fit like the whole thing at the base of your pram and sometimes it's a bit annoying. Oh, he's rolling over. Hello. Oh, clever boy. Good boy. Oh, you clever boy handle with the little button you can put up the front of the pram the handles um and it can just like hang out which is helpful for emergency circumstances if you know what i mean this is great it's a portable changing mat so every mum knows you need a portable changing mat because <laughs> well okay for starters when you go to public places and you need to 
um, go to the nappy changing room. You don't really want to be putting your, you don't, I mean, I don't want to be putting Gideon on a nappy changing unit that a thousand, a million other babies have been on with their, you know, their poo and wee everywhere. So that's really cheap. Amazon again, probably like anywhere, to be honest, you can get one of these. Um, fold up, just put that in the nappy bag. This is also super helpful for um, keeping in the house, like downstairs, if you've got a changing unit upstairs and you usually use that um, and you just want to whip something out, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm trying to record this whilst I'm using Ken. Um okay, so where was I? Sudocrem, this is like gifted, not gifted, sorry, it was in like a gift pack or something. Always use that when Gideon has a sore body or starting to be to become sore. I actually have sanitary towels near because I started my period exactly four weeks after giving birth, even though I was breastfeeding. Um and then to be honest, like a load of snacks myself as well. <laughs> in like little separate compartments um a change of clothes i won't show you like everything here because it's all deep down in the bag but a change of clothes two three onesies um to be honest um and then just like whatever else you need for your child depending on what season it is Are you okay there you go a hat socks you know all the all the stuff um but nappy bags amazing amazing you don't need to go spending and splurging a lot on a nappy bag to be honest as long as it's got separate compartments you're all good okay next up guys is toys so when your baby is born they're not necessarily they don't really have like the ability to start grabbing things and playing with things however they uh, <laughs> that quickly changes they become very inquisitive quite quickly um within the first like two months they'll start to notice things more and these things will seriously come in handy so you may as well get them because time goes like that um okay so my friend jess actually gifted this it's literally been like i'm sure josh will agree with me a lifesaver we bring it up with us when we go out we put it on the pram we hook it on the pram like that um it's always on the play mat in the house we also sometimes put it on the banister that i showed you um i think i think he's called freddy the caterpillar or something um i will put the link it's by the maid i will put the link underneath um the link to this video but it's really cool because it's quite sensory it's got black and white on the back when they're newborn and then the colors on the front um it's got like a little squeaky thing um all of these are crackly anyway that really helps trust me get one your baby <laughs> hello how did you manage to do that he's just managed to pull something off the like another toy that's super useful is i'm not sure what it's called but it's a singing lamb with projecting stars so it's got that kind of light function in a dark room stars everywhere it's amazing and gideon loves it i usually use it when he is kind of sleepy or going to sleep um also has different nursery rhymes and it's got like a heartbeat sound of the ocean things like that i've used this in fact i use this every day when he is going down or kind of waking up um really helpful i would say i'll put the link to this i'll try and find it but if you just go on amazon there's so many uh, toys like this and they really really do help little rattly toys well this isn't little for a newborn but my sister gifted me this and it rattled and it's become his favorite toy of all time <laughs> loves it if anyone is wanting to get books for their uh baby newborn baby or few months old baby um josh and i bought these from costco i think there's an animal one and just general words um really helpful however we noticed quite, <laughs> looking quite early on that um, because they're not very sensory, it's just, you know, he likes to feel things. Um, so we realised that that's kind of for more later on. Um, and the books that you can get where they're touchy feely, I highly recommend because when your baby does start to kind of reach out and touch things, they want to feel different textures. Um, just an example, My Little Lamb, this kind of book, um, you know, like with the furry spots, he loves to scratch that, things like that, woolly tail, things like that. Um, really recommend things like this. You can get them pretty much anywhere. Sometimes home bargains sell them for like two pounds, one pound fifty. This is for a little later on in the game when your baby starts teething, but still really helpful because the months pass by so quickly. 
Um, Gideon started teething a little bit earlier than we expected and the toys really, really help. So first of all, this is quite big, but he used it for a good, I'd say a good like month and a half. Um, you usually put these in the fridge just to keep cool because when their teeth are coming through, it's really helpful for them to have like something cool to chew on. Um, so he loved this. He's still he's staring at me now. <laughs> Do you want it? Do you want it? There you go. There you go. Good boy. Um, this is a teething mitt. We found that he kept putting his hands in his mouth. He still does, which is fine. But um, it's crackly. You can get this on Amazon. Um, I'll put the link to it below. And he this is meant to go on their hand but it aggravates him putting it on his hand so he just hands it to him now that he's capable of holding things and he puts it in his mouth and bites on it it's just something a little bit different to the teething ring okay this one is a game changer <laughs> we love this one because he loves this one amazon again it's like i don't know it's a few quid um it's silicon um i'm just a pre-warning don't buy silicon baby plates I've shared a link to this on my Facebook and uh, this lady had her baby's face. It sounds like her, her baby's face basically got stuck in a silicone um, uh, dish whilst they were feeding and um, like this, it suctioned as the baby was breathing in. So I'm not promoting silicone bowls here, okay? But this is really helpful. Um, he, it's because it's got those little arms and things to like go to the back. Even though his molars aren't coming through, it's the side and the back of his uh, gums that are really painful for him at the moment. So he loves this. He holds onto this, he holds onto that, he bites the whole thing. It's great. Um, I would just say keep an eye on them when you've got this because he has tended to almost like poke his eye. So we have to keep a beady eye on him uh, the whole time when he's got this one. But it's really, really helpful. Hi guys, different day here. I didn't get the chance to finish um, the other day, so straight back into it. Um, I was thinking, there's just one or two things that help me um, postpartum um, that I just quickly wanted to show. For my boobs for breastfeeding mums, um, the first, I think it was the first two, three weeks, my nipples were really, sorry, TMI, but they were really, really, really sore. Um, from just not being used to breastfeeding basically um so i use this it's i have no idea how to pronounce it lansino l-a-n-s-i-n-o-h that's probably not how you pronounce it but it's nipple cream um and it's really good because it's like all natural um 100 natural um and hypoallergenic and you don't need to remove it before you breastfeed so it's okay you know if you put it on and then breast the baby needs to feed basically and it really helped with the soreness so that's a must i'd say these as well by the same uh make just disposable breast pads um because <laughs> oh leaking is really a thing like i remember i went out to coffee with my friends um one day and i forgot to put these in and i just had two like wet patches at the front of my dress <laughs> so these really help also what i couldn't find they're somewhere upstairs i couldn't find them sorry um breast collection shells or cups they're called um so they're basically like these like gel or like plastic cups that you can sit inside your bras um and they collect the milk which you can then pour into um your bottle and save it because you'd be surprised how much milk you lose um through these pads in the first few weeks that can be really helpful as well so that's another tip i haven't used this in i'll be honest months um so breast pump i really did use this in the first month um however i don't express anymore just because for me it was just a lot of effort to get one bottle um and it, it just exhausted me and it kind of defeated the object of it um but there were times where my boobs were like really really engorged and I didn't want to get mastitis or anything like that um so before my milk leveled out I did use breast pump a lot and it really helped me and it also really helped Gideon to just have a whole bottle to just down when he was really hungry um anyway this is it's an elect it's turned on <laughs> it's an electric breast pump um I can't find the tube and the brass things, but um, this is really good because it comes with different settings. So you switch it on. I don't know if you can hear that. 
Um, you've got the mode, so you can change the mode and the like the strength of how hard it's like sucking on your boobs. <laughs> it sounds weird, but um, yeah, this was really great. I think Josh got this on Amazon for me, um, so I'll try and find the link to that. If not, um, it's one of the like the main ones Amazon recommends. It's not expensive either. Like this was not expensive. I think it was like thirty pounds or something. I know that sounds expensive, but in comparison to the ones that are recommended um they're like well over 100 pounds anyway what else oh yes this oh my gosh if you are giving birth or if you've given birth vaginally um oh, i didn't know that i'd be needing something like this but literally i could not sit down on the sofa i can i struggled to sit up in bed i could not sit in the car without being in absolute agony down there i had a few tears um and this seat is like a ring donut sorry for the mess on there um i brought this everywhere with me after a few weeks after giving birth um in the car on the sofa in the rocking chair in bed even because it was so painful to just sit on a flat surface um i needed that like little hole in the middle to just rest everything down <laughs> everything down there to be honest amazon again um seriously i can highly recommend this enough um yeah i think that's it for the postpartum that's all i personally use i know a lot of my friends use like a lot else like witch hazel potions and all this um i didn't use any of that but those are the things that helped me the most okay so just a few little baby things i wanted to add in very quickly room thermometer really good for the summer or the winter actually because i gave birth in the summer i'm not joking i got this from team U for like a quid or something um it tells you it's got a little smiley face as well which goes sad if it's not good for the baby um it tells you like the uh humidity and the temperature this is really like i really love this for gideon um my friend actually recommended this and i bought it straight away it's it's bees baby nourishing baby oil with apricot oil um it's 100 percent natural and after gideon has a bath we put um, a little bit on his body and he used to scream the house down and as soon as he smelled this and he had it on his body, calmed down straight away. Absolutely loves it and it's really good for um, the dry skin that newborn babies have because Gideon, he and a lot of my other friends, um, their babies, they peel like, like, a, like a lizard shed skin um, and that was really helpful in the first month or two. You're a very lucky mum if you don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> so when your baby if your baby goes through like a colicky phase infocol this is really good for um colic relief so you put a little bit in their mouth or in their bottle um before or during a feed and it really helps with the gas which can honestly honestly be a lifesaver when your baby is crying and screaming the house down all day every day so that's great. I recommend that as well, just to have it stashed ready for when it happens. Baby thermometer. We have the Tommy Tippy baby thermometer, um, which just goes under his armpit. Um, tells you if the baby's got fever or not. Straightforward. Really good. And oh, lastly, nail clipping set. This is quite good. It has um, like the nail clippers, sorry, the scissors, the nail clippers and a file. Um, and no idea what that's for, but anyway. That does the job although a lot of people um say the little like filer i think it's an electric file go on amazon type in baby nail clippers you'll see it um that might be better because we have struggled a little bit with that i'll be honest um we have to do it when he's asleep so just you know the little things you need in case you haven't thought of it um so yeah that's all those little bits this is his little nesting pod it's quite cushy um this obviously isn't sold to be placed in the bathroom particularly but i used it for that purpose because you know when i need to clean my teeth etc um he just comes in with me and i can place him on this nice little cushy thing this is his baby uh bath seat which he's used um from the get-go we still use it now um and he really enjoys it he's starting to really enjoy deep baths as well so this is great um it's on amazon so i'll try and find the link as well for that just a bath thermometer, we got this from um, Team U again, funnily enough, it does the job. 
put it in the bath, tells you exactly uh, how hot the water is and if it's okay or not. This is Gideon's um, next to me. It's actually called You and Me and it's from Smith's Toys. It's probably like the cheapest next to me that is on the market. It's about £50. Um, does the job, doesn't move or anything, but it's great. And this is his Moses basket and he's used this since he was born. He's a bit big for it now, unfortunately. But um, that's on Amazon as well. And this has been very, very helpful for him. And that's just about it. So thank you so much guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.